One of probably my most favorite games growing up as a kid. We played this game, uh, Uno. I remember playing Uno at my grandparents' house with all my cousins, like literally all the time. So many rounds of Uno we have played. Um, but it's a super simple game. Little kids all the way up to your grandparents can play Uno. Um, the whole point of the game is everyone starts out with seven cards. You have a draw pile and a discard pile. And the goal is to get rid of all of your cards in your hand. Now, there's a lot of different twists to the game of Uno. One is that if you have one card left in your hand, or whenever you play one, one and now you only have one, you're supposed to yell out Uno. And if someone else says Uno before you do, you're supposed to draw two cards. But, you know, there's also a ton of different variations to play this game. And there are some wild cards as well. But like I said, essentially the goal is to get rid of all of your cards. So for instance, if we're looking at my hand here and our discard pile is red, if I have a red nine, if I have any color nine, or I just have the color red, I can play this. So for instance, I could play this card. You see how this says plus two. And so that means the person going after me would have to draw two cards, right? Now, sometimes people, Sometimes people play it to where uh, those two cards are now their turn and they don't have a turn. And there's are sometimes people play it where they draw two cards and they can still play. Now, for instance, let's say I didn't have a number nine or a red. What I can do now is I can draw a card, right? So you can either play it, uh, a lot of people play it to where you just draw one card and that's your turn. If the card can be played, you would play it. If it can't, it's the next person's turn. I've also played this to where you literally just keep drawing until you can play a card. And then you would end up with just a ton of cards in your hand. So you can see there's a ton of different ways to play this game. We do have our wild cards where we have plus two. So the person going next would have to add two. We also have uh, this card this is a reverse card and what this means is instead of let's say we're going clockwise here right so this person would be going the person on my left would be going next you can actually play this to where now the person on my right would be going next okay so it reverses whatever order the play is whether that is clockwise or counterclockwise it's very cool different cards you can play here and then we have just a ton of other cards we have this card very similar to the plus two card where the next person has to draw four and then what happens is you can pick a color so if you play this so let's say that so right now it is green if you play this the next person has to draw four and we have a blue but there are a few different twists to this card for instance like you can't play this um, if you have another option basically or you can just play it if you want to it all depends there's a ton of house rules for the game of uno surprisingly which a lot of people don't realize but then we also have uh, this skip card Basically, this means whoever was supposed to be next, they are no longer next and they get skipped. So they don't get a chance to get rid of a card, right? And then you have a normal wild card where you just get to pick whatever color is next. So it doesn't matter what color is here. You can play the wild card and now you get to decide what, of, what other color you want. So for instance, if you had a ton of blues in your hand, right, you could say you want it to be blue. Or for instance, let's say you think that one of the other players has a lot of reds and this card was already red. You could say, I want it to be blue. And you, the reason why you did that is because now if they don't have a red, they have to draw a card from the draw pile because they can't play. But you can kind of see how this is a pretty simple game, but there are a d bunch of house rules that a lot of people play um, and different ways that you can play this game to make it more exciting for you and competitive. Definitely one of my favorite games growing up, though, uh, the game of Uno.